program which teaches children a second language at 44 elementary schools in the Toronto Catholic District School Board may be axed and many parents are upset about it. They were out here moments ago picketing but they're now inside for a special council meeting. Now we spoke with one mom who says that she's afraid that her two young daughters will now lose touch with their Ukrainian heritage. School Kubasko said Holding on to her roots is very important for Mariana Kaminska. She was born in Ukraine and moved here 19 years ago. Two of her daughters go to a school with an extended day program where they learn Ukrainian. Why is it so important for you to have your kids have such a close connection to their Ukrainian culture? I think because I was born there, I was born in Ukraine, and you kind of want them to carry a piece of uh, where they come from with them. Um, I'm proud of being Ukrainian. It's amazing how much they learn at school because you can't cover everything at home. Um, you speak, we obviously speak Ukrainian at home, but the thing is that um, school is so much more. There are Ukrainian instructors, they teach them not just the language, but they teach them um, culture. Six-year-old Melania isn't just learning, she can teach too. You like <laughs> swimming? Okay, so I want to learn how to say I like swimming in Ukrainian. How do you say it? Yeah, you probably yeah, lub lub le plavite. Is that good enough? Yeah, that's I guess really that's cool. going to have to work for now, right? <laughs> the extended day program Melania enjoys so much is in jeopardy. What is important, which is the delivery of international language programs in those 44 schools, um, meant that 75 instructors uh, would, would be fired um, and the program would die and the hours of the school day would change and none of that with any consultation whatsoever. It's not a commentary on the value of the international languages program. We think that it can be delivered in formats and it indeed is delivered in uh, formats outside of the school day in uh, over 55 schools. It's delivered on an evening and weekend basis. What they're saying is they might do this as an after school program. Yep. So what are your thoughts on that? I think um, it's going to be, it, it will change the um, atmosphere at the school because you will no longer have um, instructors there during the day. Kaminska says that she isn't sure whether she will put her two daughters in an after-school program, even if that's her only option. She says that it's kind of inconvenient. Now, what she's really hoping is that the board keeps things the way they are. The board says they're hoping to make a decision tonight.